There are three basic methods to orbit a model in Autodesk Fusion 360. If you have your preferences set to zoom, pan, and orbit to inventor, you have a fourth. The first one, and probably the least effective, is using the view cube with a left click drag. We'll leave that one alone. It's probably the least effective. Now, if you go to orbit in your navigation bar, this is probably the best. If you have your cursor inside the reticle, which is hard to see, but you can see in the background, inside the circle, you can free orbit around any point. If you want to center this for a free orbit, you simply left click, it will center it, and then you can orbit free orbit around that point, which can be shifted at any time just by a left click on the approximate location you want. As you can see, it centers it. Now, if I go to a direct view, such as the front here, and put my cursor directly beside the vertical line in the small compass reticle, you'll get a x-axis rotate. Again, it can be centered on any desired part. If you put it beside the horizontal line, you'll get a y-axis rotate. Let me go to our view again direct so you can see that better. And if you go to the outside of the circle, you get a Z axis rotate or orbit. Remember at all times, you can simply left click to recenter around your orbiting point. This works in any zoom level. Again, this is the most effective method. You'll notice if you move your cursor out a distance and an arrow appears on it, if you let left click, it will kill the command. I will start the command over again. So you may ask yourself, how do you left click and an error show up if you want to go to a point way out here? Just simply left click twice to get you to your point you want. The last method is with a right click. If you pick set orbit center, you can pick at any point on your model. I'll pick the end of this boss. And then when you hold down your shift middle button, it will center on that point and stay centered as long as you have that point set. If I zoom up on that point, as you can see, it's still is the rotational center. And you see, actually see the point. That's a shift middle button on your mouse. Hold down. Now, if you want to set it back, you need to go back to home and reset orbit center. This is because at the center, which is in the middle of my box, is off the screen, it will not reset. Let me demonstrate. I will set my orbit center to the end of that red shaft. So now as you see shift, I'm centered on that point. If I were zoomed up and then I right click and say reset orbit center, you'll notice I'm still centering on that point. So you must be out so the infusion can see the orbit center of the model. Then it works just fine as you can see. Again, I mentioned that Inventor adds another one. F4 is a free orbit, but it does not help have self-centering or the compass, even though it highlights the orbit command. You hold down the F4 continuously while you moving the left button or dragging the left button around the screen. This is only if you're using the Inventor preference. Thank you for watching.